Hi guys, um, on this quick video I thought I'd do this just to show some people how to put some borders around the photos um, as I found a, a quite an easy way on Photoshop. Um, so yeah, as I've just noticed this myself and done a few, I thought I'd do a video on it and hopefully it could help a few people out there to show people how to do an easy border. Um, right, so really quickly, let's just show you the photo that I'll be using at the moment. Um, we had a, a bike show round in my area, um, it's what day is it today? It's the 11th of May, Wednesday, uh, and it was on Sunday, which was the 8th, I think. 8th, 9th, yeah, 8th. Um, and we went down to the bike show and we took a few photos. And I've done, already done borders on all my photos and this one was left out, so I'll use this as an example uh, to show you guys. Um, as you can tell, that's well. There's me, and that's one of my friends, and uh, the three um, models. So um, da, 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 let me let me show you how to do it. Right. So if you've got Photoshop, I think this will work either way with CS4 or CS5. Um, but what you need to do, I'm on CS5. Open it up. Uh, file. You can do all your editing and that. What I did, I edited my photos in Lightroom. Um, as a raw file and then I exported it to a JPEG and then that's what I've just shown you there um, and then all you do is upload it to Photoshop which I will do now see these are the borders kind of um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it that one. pop this on here first right and what you need to do is to get I don't even know what these are called to be honest with you Rectangle it, marquee tool, there you go. If you get the marquee tool and copy the whole thing, if you just drag anywhere off the picture, like I don't know, somewhere over here, and keep your finger on it, so all the way from that corner to that corner, it'll do the whole photo. And then what you need to do, you need to go to edit and copy, or control and C. And then you need to go to file, new. And then what it does, when you've copied it, it comes, gives you the exact um, pixels on here, the width, the height of that photo. Uh, now what you need to do, well, this is how I found it easy, is look at the two numbers. See, mine says 1482-2063, right? So I just look at 14, and I want to add one digit more. So 14 add 1 is 15, so just put 5, and then 20 add 1 is 21. Oh, two, two, four, two, one. Uh, and you want background as white. And you press OK. Now it just comes up as a hundred pixel bigger. And if you just press Control V, it comes up like that with a nice little border on the side. Um, or you could just do edit and paste. Sorry, uh, either way. Uh, now what you need to do, as you can see on the right here, it's come up with two layers. You've got your background and then you've got your layer one. Now you need to flatten them. So what you need to do, you need to go to um, where was it? Is it image? Nope. Oh, you need to go to layer. Then you need to go down to flatten image. And you'll see both of them now have joined to one. Uh, then you need to copy it. Here, sorry, and then you need to the marquee it again. So cover the whole lot. Uh, and then you need to go to edit and copy once more. File. Then new. And then we'll do it again. But this time you want a bit of bigger border twice the size so because I added one last time this time I'll add two so 15 add 2 is 17 and 21 add 2 is 23 and you still want to keep it white and you press OK so that's a bit bigger and then there we go now obviously you can't see the two borders but if you click down here on the layers if you click the background make sure you click the background first and then go to your paintbrush tool Mine's quite big at the moment. It's probably better at big, so you're not you're not missing anything out. Make sure it's on black, and then all you do is copy and do that straight across, and there we go. And there's your nice border. And then all you do is to go to File, Save As, and I'll just pop it on my desktop as I don't know, just gibberish for now because I've already done this picture before, so I will. Uh, end up deleting it. So 
save, um, 11 maximum, ok, I just do try and do the highest one as I can, and there we go, um, let me just see what it looks like by opening it, you can just delete all these afterwards, and turn Photoshop off, um, there's the photo, and there we go, a nice border, um, if anybody wanted to know how to do that, um, you know, any comments or any messages you want to ask me, then don't hesitate to send me a message or a comment on this video um, or my profile. Um, there's another thing I've, I don't know if I explained in one of my old videos, but I did put my Skype, uh, my Skype name on my pro on my profile on YouTube. So if anybody wants to add me on Skype and you know give me a ring anytime or ask me any questions or anything like that, then you can do. Um, and that's really it. Yep. So, you know, if if you're new to these videos and stuff, then add me as a friend and uh, also subscribe, which will help me out a lot. So, um, yeah. Have fun, guys, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.